Hello, my name is John Deep, and I'm a Master's of Public Health student at Arcadia University. The title of my research is Direct Access Physical Therapy Policy and Low Back or Neck Pain Disability, an Ecological Study. We know that low back and neck pain are individual great causes of healthcare spending, and they're actually combined the third leading cause of healthcare spending behind only heart disease and diabetes. We also know that conservative care, especially physical therapy, is currently considered best practice for most cases of these conditions. We wanted to look at direct access policies, policies that allow individuals to receive physical therapy without physician referral. These policies are decided at the state level, allowing for some variation that we were able to examine here. Our objectives were to assess the association between state level direct access physical therapy policy and disability attributable to low back or neck pain, and also to explore other state level socio-demographic variables associated with low back and neck pain. Our first independent variable was a direct access policy level, which we separated into three groups, unrestricted direct access, provisional, and restricted. Our socioeconomic variables were collected from the American Community Survey five-year estimates. The outcome variables were disability adjusted life years, a measure of disability provided by the Global Burden of Disease Study 2017. Moving on to the results, we have two maps. The first being a distribution of direct access policy at the top, with the green being unrestricted, yellow being provisional, and red being restricted. Right below that is the distribution of neck pain disability, with the green being relatively lower disability and red being relatively higher disability. When we compare these two, we see that the only states that fall into the relatively lower neck pain disability category are those that also have unrestricted direct access policy. And this foreshadows our bivariate and multivariate findings. Moving over to the table at the top right, we see the bivariate analyses results, with the key finding being that less restrictive direct access policy was associated with lower neck pain disability. Moving below, we see the two tables for our linear regression models for neck pain disability and low back pain disability. The key findings here are that provisional direct access was associated with more neck pain disability when compared to the unrestricted direct access policy. This was not the case for low back pain disability where direct access showed no association. Lower income was also associated with greater neck pain and greater age, percent population that is white and percent population participating in manual labor was also associated with greater low back pain. What this all serves to do is provide a basis for farther research into direct access policy and different disability outcomes. So we see an association with unrestricted direct access policy and lower neck pain disability, but not with low back pain. That could be for a variety of reasons that might be better understood through individual level studies. So this study is not able to see who is utilizing physical therapy, but rather who has access to physical therapy through direct, direct access. So future studies might benefit from looking at actual physical therapy utilization and disability outcomes in those states. Another perspective that one can take when looking towards future studies is looking at how direct access physical therapy policy associates with different conditions. Because as we see in this study, we did not see similar results for neck pain disability and low back pain disability. And this can have clinical implications for physical therapists that are seeing individuals with different presentations in clinic and deciding whether they are right for direct access physical therapy. These can have a variety of implications at the policy level where we're deciding what is the best policy and what is the best way to mes message it, as well as clinical for clinicians, like I just said, deciding who might benefit best from different levels of care, whether that be physical therapy or their position. Thank you for watching.